Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Lunchbox Grows. One sec. <coughs> All right. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to roll a perfect blunt using the zigzag blunt wrap. There's a lot of different wraps, a lot of different cigars, a lot of different methods out there. Lately, I've been really liking these zigzag wraps. They're strong enough to roll with easy. They're light enough to where you don't feel like you're smoking on crazy weight unless you roll them fat. And then at least the weight that you're smoking on is flour, not wrap. So if you're ready to learn how to roll a blunt, follow along, grab your grinder, your favorite flour, your favorite flavor of zigzag wrap, and a pair of scissors, and let's get into it. All right, so this is what we're gonna need to start with. Got our wrap, got our grinder, got some rubber glove here. Hopefully that'll focus, that's some pretty good looking, good looking bud. But it helps when you roll a blunt to make sure that the weed is, is relatively soft, you know? This, having it be a little bit sticky helps so we're gonna start see how we got this stem on here we don't want to grind that up so we're gonna pull the butt apart from the bottom take off those little calyxes and then we're gonna put it in the grinder and then we're gonna grind it up relatively coarse we don't want the weed to be as fine as it can possibly be. So grind it a couple of times and then we're gonna bounce it back and forth like this. Help the weed fall through the holes rather than wait until it's ground so fine that it's got no choice. This will help the way that the blunt smokes and the flow when you pull on it. Weed is ground. All right, let's get to rolling this thing. So we open our pack of zigzag wraps. Snap your fingers on the uh, Ziploc. And get a wrap out. So you'll find these coiled up. They're always a little bit funky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this wrap off the clear wrap off the back. And we're gonna lick right along the whole outside as we unroll it. So, we're gonna lick all the way along the edge, not hitting this fine edge. You don't wanna lick that yet. But as we unroll it, we're gonna lick it. not soak it you just want to get moisture on it that's it and then we're gonna do the same thing on the inside top bottom and along the middle and this wrap came a little wrinkled here at the end so I'm gonna try and open that up and just a little moisture and a little pinch Okay, and then our blunt is going to sit down nice and flat. Alright, so I usually kick this thing a little crooked. We're going to start putting our weed in here nice and evenly. Starting whatever end you want. I always, I always consider the left side the end that I'm going to light and the right side the end that I'm going to smoke from. So, put that right up to the edge there. Yeah. I always put a lot in this end because I'm kind of making a little bit cone shaped 
because I like to roll a fat blunt, but I don't like to feel like I'm smoking on a giant Cuban, you know. So, as we work our way down, I'm going to taper our amount down. So, I'll pick it up with four fingers. Don't pinch it too hard, just pinch it enough to get it off the table. And then you're gonna switch, hold it with this finger, and pinch it with these two. And we're gonna try and keep that, that weed line essentially inside this edge. But we're gonna start here, and we're gonna pinch just push down a little bit and we're gonna start working this down into the wrap we'll work our way around and lift this little lip out of the way and again don't push hard you just want to you're making the shape always keep in mind your your goal is a cylinder right you're rolling a blunt so you want a cylinder so now that it's inside the paper, or inside the wrap, we're going to start actually making sure that the wrap is getting pulled around the weed. So we're going to push, start on the fat end, and we're going to kind of pinch it together a little bit and roll it inward and work our way down. So not really doing anything with the bottom but holding it and we're just using these two fingers and these two fingers to kind of push the weed down and into the wrap okay and you can you can roll it you can bring it like all the way out if you want at this point you know, like, you can open your wrap up and use your fingers to push down and get that little mohawk edge, you know, get that down. We're going to roll back and forth, just a little bit at a time, it's going in. And we're getting that ultimately to where we can get this wrap stuck on or this half of the wrap stuck on the bottom side so keep working it and we're getting kind of mohawky here so i'm gonna pinch here and kind of get that cylinder shape back going okay. We basically got our blunt shape, so we're gonna lick. We're gonna lick all the way along here on both the top and the bottom at the same time. But again, don't soak it, it does not need to be soaked, it just needs to be enough to stick. So we lick the, the wrap. I'm going to start just on this this portion of it, okay? And then don't try not to touch that edge anymore. We're going to bring that over and just place it right on there. And then lick and tuck. And don't put your finger over here. Just pull that wrap right over the top, okay? And we're going to work down here at this end. I'm going to lick this whole section. Pull that right over like that and just place it on there. And now I got this middle lip. I'll lick that center and just bring it right over with your finger. One more little lick. Alright. Uh, now we got our blunt basically rolled. We got a few more little steps to go. We're just gonna wipe, we're wiping off that any extra spit that's on there, any extra saliva. Let me get that off of there. 
Okay. So we got nice blunt right now. Now our last step is you can use the straw that it comes with. This is what it's for. I prefer to use something a little bit, just something that's not hollow. It makes it a lot easier. So we're going to use that and just kind of push in gently, working our way around the outer edge, kind of keeping that outward pressure and just gently pack in the bottom until it's pretty firm. It's pretty good. Well, we'll do the top. A little wrinkle. <laughs> Not me. Came on the wrap member. That's pretty packed. See, so it came a little, a little off right there. That's all right. I'll just give it a little lick. And pull that paper back. Give it a little lick underneath. And bring it back over. See that little wrinkle right in there? That's keeping it from sealing. So we're gonna put our packer in there and just pinch that that wrap right on the outside between our finger and the the marker or whatever you're gonna use. Just to help keep that seam from coming apart again. So now you take your scissors. If you just lay your scissors right on the edge of the weed, yeah, boop, bam, boop, bam, boop, bam. Yeah, it's almost flat. I'll just shave it a little bit. Same on the front. You want to do this for two reasons. One, it's going to help it light evenly. And two, it's going to help keep it from running once it's lit and being smoked on. So, now we got our nice conical blunt with a smaller end to hit off of. And a larger end for lighting. That's a pretty nice blunt right there. Now I got my little desk lamp here. Thing's pretty hot. So I usually leave my blunts to sit and to seam up just under the warm light for a couple of minutes before I fire them up just to make sure that the, the wrap's all nice and dried out evenly and it's not getting that um, uh, run from too much moisture on one side of it. All right, so that's how we roll a blunt. Now, let's see how she smokes. Always toast it a little bit on the front. Get those trichomes melting, get them glistening. Give it a little tap there, get that edge rolling around nice. It's a nice even cherry started. Not bad. Good flavor. Good flavor. So that is how I roll my blunts with the zigzag wraps. Hopefully it was easy enough for you to follow along and I hit the right camera angles. It's a little tough, I only have one camera so I have to bounce it back and forth. If I didn't hit any aspects of it just right, uh, drop a comment. I'll see if I can explain it a little bit better. 
This is also just the first of the How to Roll a Blunt videos. I'm going to be doing Swishers, I'll be doing Dutches, I'll be doing How to Roll all kinds of different wraps, as well as joints, uh, regular size and king size, with and without a crutch. Uh, you probably noticed I didn't put a crutch in this. I don't put a crutch in my blunches. <laughs> I don't put a crutch in my blunts. I only put crutches in my joints. So if you like this video, you learned how to roll a blunt, or it gave you a new technique on how to roll your blunts and make them a little bit better, hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know. And if you want to see how to roll all the other blunts I described, plus other stuff, hit that subscribe button because i got more videos coming. Thanks for watching.